What's up, Pack Fam? We're back with another video. What is it gonna be about today? Well, it's not gonna be about the Border Collies, even though, you know, they all just have to have love all the time. The video is actually going to be about my little Aussie. So, Texas Arcana, are you ready to get groomed? So, I, um, I brush my dogs often, but about once a month, we got some jealousy in the background. About once a month, I uh, trim their feet, cut their nails, ears, all the kind of stuff. So I'm gonna just run through a quick grooming. Um, this is just gonna be a dry grooming. So it's just basically my weekly thing. Weekly grooming is basically just a brush down and I'll check their nails. I might trim up their feet. I actually haven't done Texas in quite a while. And that was for a purpose for this video. Right, Texas Arcana? So the reason I did that is because I really want you guys to see how long Aussie feet can get. And Border Collies do. They grow the little Grinch feet just as well as Aussie. Texas has some gnarly Grinch feet here. I usually don't use the table. I'm using it for the sake of the video. I usually just kind of sit on the floor and do this and then sweep up after but we're gonna use the table because it's cute, right, Texas Arcana? So are you ready to get groomed today? Are you? I do have him suspended in this little doohickey right here because he'll keep laying down and when you cut nails and shave feet generally you want to pick up their paws like that so that's what we're going to do we're going to get to shaving your little green or keep it so you know i'll make it quick
this is the difference. It doesn't really have to be perfect. I have a lot of long coated dogs, so I kind of run through it um, and just shave this and cut his nails. Okay guys, <laughs> I had to stop and just say this is so pitiful because like, never. This doesn't happen, but I really have just been like, I'm gonna let it go until it gets so bad. But yeah, he is in, wow, a desperate need. And, and if you can't even tell because of the, all the hair that covers it until you cut it away, you're like, oh, oh my God. This is not very good, sir. This isn't very good. But we're gonna get it taken care of because we love you. guys my memory card is totally full on my other camera from the other view so I'm just gonna run through this real quick but I do grind um, their nails after because when you cut it you get these sharp edges and then when little Texas Arcanas jump in your lap because they want to sleep with you they scratch you all up and we just can't have all that sir can't have it so let's grind some nails so I just want to kind of show you what it'll look like before. So I just got done cutting these, if they would focus. So you can see they're like a square and we want to make them round. So that's what we're going to do. Okay guys, this is just my personal preference um, when I do my Aussies. My border collars are a little different. But as you can see, um, I like to take off up until right about here. They have their little cute little pad up here. Go. Can you go lay down? So I like to take it up to about there just because I have um, trees in my yard that have these sticks that will stick all over them. And you can see how long his is here. So yeah, I just take this off basically. And I only do it in the front because it's just not needed in the back. With these long hairs, be bringing in some dirt. <laughs> you're so cute. Take the camera. I know you're just so mad at me though. Because I had to clean your feet. Okay, so I have all of his feet cleaned. And he has this like one black toenail that sticks out. But as you can see, if it focus, they're all nice and rounded out and cut. So it's definitely very important to keep these kinds of things up, especially for your long coated dogs like Aussies. Hollies. <laughs> you guys are cute. <laughs> okay, so I've checked him and I don't, I've only found that one mat, which is freaking amazing considering how, how much undercoat I know he has. So I'm gonna brush him out with a different type of tool. I've already used a soft brush and then a bristle brush, but I really need like a rake to really get down in there and get that undercoat out. Okay, so we just got done using the rake, which is this little tool right here. And as you can see, it works. Stay Tex. So um, we got all that out and then I trimmed his ears a little bit. So you can look at me, look at me. So I trimmed his ears a little bit um, after a good bath, he's pretty oily. He's pretty oily, so it doesn't really look like all poofy like it should. It, like it usually is like perfect little triangles. Um, so we can look at his coat here. And I don't know if you can notice the difference, but I sure can. And I think Tex feels good. He does, and he deserves all the treats in the world. So then over here we got his little feet that look good. And he's looking good. So after cutting his ears, we went ahead and took his collar off and really brushed around his collar. And he's being such a good boy. Then the last thing we did is we used a finishing spray, um, which I use Bedhead. Uh, and it's basically just like a little shiner, but it also has a little fragrance. So we're smelling really good, eating our treats. Pretty much all the items I use, I got off of Amazon. It's really not hard to just groom your dog yourself. Um, after a bath and a blow dry, he'll look like he just came from a salon and it's not 
that hard. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally should. It's a packed journey. If you go there, I am actually doing a giveaway um, for an interactive toy, which is really good for really any dog to get their nose working and figuring things out and using the thinking side of their brain. All right, I guess we're ready to be done with this video. Thank you, Pack Fam. If you like this one, I know it was a quick one. Hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe because we got some singing puppies here. Right, Texarkana? See you.